Ottawa is the capital of Canada. The city is situated along the Ontario side of the Ottawa River, opposite Gatineau, Quebec. The metropolitan population of Ottawa is 1.4 million and is currently the sixth largest in Canada. Ottawa is home to many of the world's cultures as thousands of immigrants from around the world now call Ottawa home. Today, the major economic sectors are the public service, travel and tourism, and the high-tech industry. About 11 million tourists visit Ottawa each year, contributing more than $2.2 billion to the local economy. Ottawa has proudly remained a green city and is situated at the confluence of three rivers, Ottawa, Rideau, and Gatineau as well as the Rideau Canal. Many residents make regular use of Ottawa's parks and green spaces, like ways and cross-country ski trails. Many national attractions are located in Ottawa, Parliament Hill, the National Library and Archives, the National Gallery, as well as the Museums of Civilization, Contemporary Photography, Nature, War and Science, and Technology. The city is four-season climate and can be relatively humid, which means that it can feel surprisingly hot in the summer and extreme cold in the winter. The city receives a lot of snow in the winters, more than Toronto, but somewhat less than Montreal. Spring mid-April to the end of May and autumn September and October are short but quite comfortable. Decide on the best time to visit Ottawa and then make the most of your trip with our video of tourist attractions and things to do in Ottawa. Before we get started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. Number 1. Parliament Hill The Parliament Buildings in all their splendor of Victorian Gothic sandstone, are quite an imposing sight on the 50-meter-high Parliament Hill looking out over the Ottawa River. The Parliamentary Library, at the back of the building opposite the entrance, is a wonderfully furnished octagon that was untouched in the 1916 fire. You can explore the sprawling historic center block on a guided tour, and the public can also attend a question period when the government is in session. The attractive grassed area in front of the Parliament buildings is patrolled in summer by members of the Canadian Mounted Police, looking very dashing in their mounted uniforms of scarlet jackets, stetsons, riding breeches, and knee boots. On summer mornings, the changing of the guard always attracts visitors with its regimental band and pipers. The ceremony begins at 9.50 a.m., but you should be there at least 15 minutes before that for a good view. The changing of the guard and tours of Parliament are among the most popular free things to do in Ottawa. Number 2. National War Memorial The National War Memorial titled the response is a tall, granite memorial arch with accreted bronze sculptures in Ottawa. Designed by Vernon March and first dedicated by King George VI in 1939, originally built to commemorate the Canadians who died in the First World War, it was in 1982 rededicated to also include those killed in the Second World War and Korean War, and again in 2014 to add the dead from the Second Boer War and war in Afghanistan, as well as all Canadians killed in all conflicts past and future. It now serves as the preeminent war memorial of 76 cenotaphs in Canada. In 2000, the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier was added in front of the memorial and symbolizes the sacrifices made by all Canadians who have died or may yet die for their country. Number 3. Rideau Canal The Rideau Canal also known as the Rideau Waterway, connects Canada's capital city of Ottawa to Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River at Kingston. It is 202 kilometers long. The canal was opened in 1832 as a precaution in case of war with the United States. It remains in use today primarily for pleasure boating, with most of its original structures intact. The locks on the system open for navigation in mid-May and close in mid-October. It is the oldest continuously operated canal system in North America. In 2007, it was registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As soon as it freezes over, though, the canal becomes a recreational area for festivals and skating, one of the favorite things to do in Ottawa in the winter. Parks Canada operates the Rideau Canal. Number 4. National Gallery of Canada The National Gallery of Canada, located in the capital city, Ottawa, it is one of the largest art museums in North America by exhibition space. It is situated in a glass and granite building on Sussex Drive, with a notable view of the Canadian Parliament buildings on Parliament Hill. The building was designed by Israeli architect Mo Safdie and opened in 1988. The museum's permanent collection includes over 93,000 works from European, American, and Asian, Canadian, and Indigenous artists. In addition to exhibiting works from its permanent collection, the museum also organizes and hosts a number of traveling exhibitions. The rooms of art gallery are on the lower level under the glass and case Great Hall. 
Admission to this fine gallery is free Thursdays from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Number 5. The Peace Tower. The panoramic view from the observation deck at the top of the Peace Tower, the highest point in Ottawa, encompasses Parliament Hill, the entire city, the river, Gatineau, and the hills to the north. The Peace Tower, also known as the Tower of Victory and Peace, is a focal bell and clock tower sitting on the central axis of the center block of the Canadian Parliament buildings in Ottawa, Ontario. The present incarnation replaced the 55-meter Victoria Tower after the latter burned down in 1916. Along with most of the center block, only the Library of Parliament survived. On your way up in the elevator, you will get a look at the tower's bells, and there is a memorial room to Canadians who died in World War I. Number 6. Supreme Court of Canada The Supreme Court of Canada building, located just west of Parliament Hill at 301 Wellington Street on a bluff high above the Ottawa River in downtown Ottawa, is home to the Supreme Court of Canada. It also contains two courtrooms used by the Federal Court and the Federal Court of Appeal. The building was designed by Ernest Cormier. The building is known for its Art Deco decorative details, including two candelabrum-style fluted metal lamp standards that flank the entrance, and the marble walls and floors of the grand interior lobby contrasting with the shade-ass roof. Construction began in 1939, with the cornerstone laid by Queen Elizabeth, consort to King George VI, and later known as the Queen Mother. The court began hearing cases in the new building by January 1946. Number 7. Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica The Notre Dame Cathedral Basilica is a Roman Catholic minor basilica in Ottawa, located on 385 Sussex Drive in the Lower Town neighborhood. It was designated a National Historic Site of Canada in 1990. The basilica is the oldest and largest church in Ottawa and the seat of the city's Roman Catholic Archbishop. Its twin spires and gilded Madonna are easily identifiable from nearby Parliament Hill and the surrounding area. The church was last renovated and restored in the late 1990s. Services are held in both French and English. Its Easter and Christmas Masses are telecast nationally on Salt Lake Television every year. Number 8. Canadian Tulip Festival Ottawa's Spring Festival marks the end of winter with the tulips given by Queen Julianne of the Netherlands in gratitude for the city's hospitality during the Second World War come into bloom all over the city. Canal Banks and Commissioner's Park in particular are the scene of general festivities. Majors Hill Park, southwest of the Basilica, is aflame with thousands of tulips. In all, several million tulips bloom in the city, with tulip attraction sites spread out on the scenic tulip route. Fireworks and performances are also regular attractions. 